Different sources have suggested that the US-made F-16 is the preferred candidate, while others claim that the Swedish Gripen is preferred by the Department of Defense. The Philippines plans to procure F-16s after completing the Philippines' deal with Sweden for the acquisition of a new Gripen 39 CDM S-20 Plus fragment from Saab. The Philippines is also making progress in its negotiations with the United States for second-hand F-16 Fighting Falcon fighters as part of the USPH Security Sector Assistance Roadmap under this Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement to the extent that it is not surprising that the agreement with the U.S. was set right after the contract between DND and Saab signed which is expected to happen in the next few months. Both Washington and Stockholm have been actively pushing their fighter options over the past year. The $2.43 billion U.S. offer includes 12 new F-16 Block 7070 seconds fighters, weapons and training. This amount far exceeds Manila's budget. Defense Secretary Delphin Lorenzana at the time quipped, with the budget were allotted, we can only buy two F-16s. But if we buy Gripen, we can buy six. In contrast to the U.S. bid, the Swedish bid fits Manila's budget and includes 12 Gripen C and D aircraft and two additional aircraft for a total of 14 aircraft. As far as the public is aware, Saab has offered the Philippines two packages, one including used aircraft and, two, 12 unfinished aircraft, which are not required by the Swedish Air Force and are, therefore, new aircraft. The aircraft will be upgraded to C+, standard with technological inserts from the new E model. It is not surprising that the U.S.-made F-16 is assumed to be superior to the Gripen because of Manila's treaty alliance with the U.S. and President Marcos Jr.'s foreign policy realignment against Washington. Therefore, acquiring U.S. aircraft would be a strong signal of Manila's alignment and integration of forces with the U.S. Strong ties with Washington will also aid in the training, support and supply of fighters. However, while alliance political considerations will certainly play a large role in the final decision, other important issues also need to be considered. Firstly, the acquired aircraft will serve the Philippine Air Force PAF, for two to three decades. Therefore, the longevity of the type selected is a very important consideration. Longevity is understood in terms of both the airframe and fighter system's life cycle and the ability to upgrade to keep pace with evolving threats. Procurement of used aircraft carries a number of risks and may also be expensive for the operator. Every used fighter aircraft has to go through costly and intrusive overhauls of every airframe to ensure sufficient airframe durability, safety, and flight hours. In addition, older airframes and systems will naturally have a shorter average failure time. This increases the risk of acceptance of an older airframe and results in higher costs and maintenance. The upgradability of each type must also be considered. Using an older airframe and upgrading it with more modern systems and avionics has its limits. These limitations relate to original design constraints and the cooling and electrical requirements of modern avionics, radar, and electronic warfare and support systems. For example, the F-16 is an older aircraft design dating back to the 1970s, meaning that the aircraft's philosophy and system upgrades did not meet the requirements of the future, which demanded more iterative and rapid hardware and software upgrades. If our information is correct, it is possible that the transfer of F-16s will be made via heat transfer with Philippine Air Force pilots to be trained in the U.S. first before the transfer can take place. This will enable the PAF to increase two fighter squadrons in the next few years, one with the Grievins and one with the Falcons, this would also enhance POF's plan to have three or four MRF squadrons at the end of Horizon 3 which would still be possible with the political will to move with the MRF acquisitions of Phase 2 in parts of the Horizon 3 layer. A few reasons why the Philippines might still consider the F-16 in their aircraft inventory include operational flexibility Operational flexibility The F-16 fighter jet is known for its versatility being able to perform a variety of missions including air-to-air -air missions. 
Air combat air defense and close air support, this allows the Philippine Air Force to have an aircraft that can handle a wide range of situations and threats, proven technology proven technology in service for decades, F-16 technology is still considered reliable and proven it can provide user countries access to modern combat capabilities without having to develop or acquire new, potentially more expensive aircraft.